Hello everyone, in today's tutorial we we'll see how to easily design your own calendar like this using Adobe InDesign with the calendar wizard script that we're gonna see where you're gonna get it and how you're gonna install it inside Adobe InDesign and how you're gonna use it in InDesign. So by the time we'll finish this calendar, you will end up with a really cool calendar that is ready for a print to help you plan your next year. Alright, fantastic, so let's get to it. All right, so uh, the first thing we're gonna do will install the calendar wizard script. So just open your browser. I will make sure like, to put the link where you can go directly to uh, the link and uh, just download it. So we just type Google and I will type calendar wizard in design. And in the second link in here, I will just one click to it and I will just click download. And it will take me to the source version here and it will start downloading in a second and as you can see i already downloaded this it will give me to duplicate it but it's okay so we just start download and i will just close this all right now when i go to my uh, file in here i will find it in here so what am i going to do i will just double click to it and as you can see i have it in this uh, winner file so we just take it and put it in here and I will just one click and choose copy and I will go to my C drive in here and one click to it and I will go to program file or where uh, you install your Adobe InDesign so in here I find Adobe and double click to it and I will go to Adobe InDesign in here and double click and I will go directly to script and in the script panel in here I will just double click to it again and I will just right click and take paste it in here and I will uh, press continue in here and as you can see I have it in here installed and that's how uh, you install your uh, uh, calendar wizard it's that easy to do now I will just open my Adobe InDesign so just one click to it in here and it will open all right, so once your InDesign is open, we're gonna go and check if our script is installed. If you don't find script panel in here, just go to Windows and go down to Utilities in here and just one click to Scripts and it will open. So we'll find two folders in here. So just open the application folder and you will find Calendar Wizard in here installed. All right, so now we go to File, New and open a new document in here. So. The page that we're gonna use is an A3 page size, so we'll go to the page size in here and we'll choose A3. And in the facing pages, just make sure it's unchecked because we don't want it to be a facing page. All right, so we'll add a 0.25 inch for the margin. So we just go and type 0.25 inch, and also uh, we're gonna add a 0.12 inch for breed. All right, so we just type point 0.12 inch for bleed all right and we just press okay okay so now we're ready to uh, add our calendar so we'll go to a script again and we just double click to the calendar wizard in here not the calendar wizard classic but this one in here I will just double click to it and uh, the calendar uh, wizard it will open all right, so the first thing we'll do, we'll uh, go to the first month in here and of course we want it to be a January. So we'll just check January in here and of course you're going to uh, choose uh, your, uh, the year that you want, you want to be calendar set. Maybe if you watch this tutorial in 2020, make sure in here set 2020. But I will be just gonna uh, choose 2016 because that's the next year and in here I will choose 2016. All right, now I will go to the week, day, headline style, hidden style and I will choose mid because I wanted to show three, the first three letters of each day. So we choose this one in here and I wanted to uh, be started on Monday. So we'll just choose Monday and I will go 
to layer option and I will uncheck add text layer and in the calendar title in here I want it to be just month not month and year and I will just go directly all right I think in here all sets so we go directly to calendar per page so that's what we're gonna uh, change because we want it to be uh, all 12 month in a single page so we go and choose 12 in here all right so in the page in here I will uh, choose to be in a new document and in the letter in here I want it to be in a, an E4 letter because I want it to be smaller so it will fit in my E3 page in here so I will choose A4 and in the default in here I will make sure in here set landscape alright so we're uh, ready to go so we press ok and as you can see it will generate our calendar in here alright now it's done we have uh, our 12 month in here so we just go and hide the scripts in here and as you can see you will find uh, small dots in red in here that is referring to uh, the errors that we have in this calendar uh, if you see in the bottom of uh, InDesign, you will find 24 errors in here uh, that we're gonna need to fix. Alright, so we're gonna see how to do that in a second. So, uh, first we need uh, a paragraph style to do that. If you don't find a paragraph style in here, just go to Window and down to Type and Table and just one click to Paragraph in here and it will appear in here. Alright, so this is what's great about this script, by the way, because it will give us uh, to modify each title, date, text, and data, and base. This is like really great. Alright, so uh, I will just double click to the calendar base in here, and it will uh, the style option uh, open. So we go first to the character format, and I will change uh, the font to uh, be best new. You can choose whatever font you want, of course, but I will just gonna change it to be best and I will move, make this side to regular. And I will just uh, make the size for like nine points in here. And I will go directly to indent and spacing and I will make the alignment to center. And I will go back to the character format in here and I will uh, make the key mean to optical. All right, and I will press OK. As you can see, the errors is disappeared because we fixed that just using paragraph style. All right, now I will go to the calendar title in here and I will just double click to it. And I will go to the basic character and format. And I will uh, make it uh, the case into normal because I don't want it to be in a small caps. And I will make it I will keep it regular and I will think I will just uh, I will keep it 18 points because here it looks good let me just choose bold no I think I will choose to be regular all right and it's already in the center so that's good so I press ok and I will go directly to calendar day in here and I will go to basic character format and I will make it for like 10 or 11 points in here and I think all right it's all good all right and I will press ok and I will go directly to calendar tags in here and again I will make it I think don't need to change anything in here all right, press OK, and I will go to calendar dates. That's gonna need to change uh, its uh, alignment. So we'll go to indent and spacing, and I will cho cho change it to center. As you can see, it will uh, make the the dates in uh, center in here, and I will make it a little bit bigger, maybe 10 or 11, or maybe uh, 11. 12 okay all right maybe 11 all right okay so I press okay as you can see we just give it 
really good. All right, so it's really good. All right, so the next thing we're gonna do will, uh, you know, we'll modify the the cell style of this calendar. All right, so we're gonna use like the same method that we used for uh, the paragraph style, but this time we're gonna use a cell style to do that. So if you don't find a cell style in here, just go to window again and down to type and table. And in here, just one click to table and it will find the cell style in here. So as you can see, it's, it will give us a lot of options like uh, the paragraph style in here. So we just double click to the calendar base in here and I will go directly to strokes and fill and in here in color just put none and press OK. And that's all we're gonna do in here because I want it to be like there is no stroke and, and lines in here like this. All right, so, so we're gonna add a little bit uh, of a line under each of uh, the days of the week in here on each of those. So uh, we're gonna see how we're gonna do that using uh, a new cell side that we're gonna create all right, so I will switch back to normal and I will go and double click to this one in here and I will select this this day row in here, like so. And I will go and open my cell side in here and I will uh, go and as you can see in here, you will find it like this, a box that's all, all the margin and everything is selected. Just, you know, deselect this one in here by one click to it and another click in here and another click like that and until there is just the line under in here is selected and I will go and put, um, give it a 0 0.5 points in here as you can see and I will go and in this one in here I will make a new cell style and I will press OK let me just call it line and the line in here and I'll press OK and I will have it in here so now uh, if I switch to preview I find a line uh, under the, the day in here so you can just easily uh, give it to the other one in here by just one click and you know select this the, the day row in here and then just one click to the underline and again one click and again it's easier like that all right so we just keep doing this as you can see it will give it this really cool line under each days in here all right, so the next thing we do will add a little bit of color of uh, the row of Mondays and Fridays. So we can easily do that again by using this time a paragraph style to do that. So I will go and open paragraph style in here and I will select this row, all of it like that. And I will go to text in here and I will uh, go to swatches and I will make it in red like that. And I will go and go and choose new paragraph style in here and I will call this red color and I have it in here so now I can just go and select this row again and I will just one click to red color and it will make it in red so we just keep doing like that again And we're done as you can see we give it we customize it as we want it and I think it's ready to go all right it looks good okay so now we can just select everything like that and press ctrl C in your keyboard to copy it and go back to our main page and press ctrl V to paste it in here as you can see it will fit perfectly like so 
all right so i will press by pressing shift i will uh, with my arrow up key in here i will make it up a little bit like that and there we go we have it like that set for to be used for our calendar all right looking good now all we're gonna do we'll add uh, a picture in top in here all right so we'll go and go to file place and i already have a picture in here so we just double click to it and i will just insert it from here like that and like so and as you can see it will make it fit perfectly and i will make it a little bit bigger by pressing shift we'll make it a little bit bigger in here all right and a little bit like that all right and I'll just put it down a little bit like so okay all right looking good now we just add a, a date of our calendar 2016 so we'll go to type and then we'll just one click this drag to uh, make a, a, a text table in here and I will uh, write 2016 and I will make it bigger for like 140 points in here and I will change the type to be best new regular And I will just put it like that. And I will change the color to a white color. And go and choose white. And I will just make this uh, to fit for the by pressing Control Alt C. It will make the border container to the text. You can also make it a little bit more bigger if you want. Maybe we'll put more, maybe 180 points like that. All right, and I will put it like so. And there you go. All right, as you can see, this is our final calendar in here ready for a print and it looks really cool and you know it's like easy to do that you can do each year if you want so all you're gonna do now is go to file export and choose in here adobe pdf print and just press save and you know just keep this setting in here and press export and you're ready to go Alright, so I hope that you enjoy and you like this tutorial and it was a little bit helpful for you. Uh, don't forget to subscribe and comment and you know wait for more tutorials to come and have a nice day. Thank you for watching.